today we start the seventh chapter of geography and this is the last chapter of your sixth class and this is the third term which we are going to the classes uh, in the second semester we have completed uh, north america and now we are studying about south america so when we talk about the continents we have already discussed that about seven continents are there in that south america is the fourth largest continent other three are asia then africa and then north america and the other uh, south america is the fourth largest continent so in this chapter in the first part that is this uh, video is the first part of our south america in this part we will study about its discovery about its location and its boundaries and about its political divisions so this video is of two parts first i will give an introduction and then we will uh, go with the powerpoint presentation so let's start the now uh, south america it is the fourth largest continent and the first topic which we have to read is introduction so about introduction of south america south america is a continent which uh, falls in the northern and southern hemisphere you can say that it's a continent which is in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere that means equator passes through this continent through this place you can see equator equator passes through north america so this is uh, this first line is equator so equator passes through north america and above equator 13 degree is there 13 degree latitude so that uh, 13 degree latitude is above equator and the remaining it is below equator so you can see it here let me say about its location and its uh, place where it is located it is 13 degree north and 55 degree south so remaining 55 degree is in the southern hemisphere now next slide this is tropic of capricorn it falls in the southern hemisphere so this line that is 23 and the half degree south it is tropic tropic of capricorn it is in the southern hemisphere and you can see this tropic of capricorn also passes through it so two important latitudes passes through south america and they are equator and tropic of capricorn and talking about its uh, climatic condition when we see this equator and the tropic of capricorn is here that means most major share of this continent falls in the tropics or in the torrid zone that means this place experience a very hot and humid climate they get a rainfall throughout the year and it is hot and humid here it is brazil and amazon forest so you can understand about the uh, rainfall and the thickness of um, forest here in this area here is brazil and the amazon forest can be seen here and anything you have got about anaconda and that is also seen in this place now talking about its four boundaries caribbean sea you can see the caribbean sea caribbean sea is in the north of south america and when we studied about south america i told you that caribbean sea is in the south of north america and here caribbean sea is in the north then the remaining things are same here in the west pacific ocean in the east you can see atlantic ocean and in the south southern ocean so southern ocean if you all know it is southern ocean it's a combination of all the oceans and this ocean can be seen above antarctica so these are the boundaries north caribbean sea west pacific ocean in the east atlantic ocean and in the south southern ocean now here there was a connection earlier with north america and that uh, was uh, separated by an artificial canal and that canal is called panama canal now north america and south america is separated by panama canal so this is the connection with the north america and uh, this is the uh, location and where it is located now let's see its discovery it is discovered by christopher columbus and after its discovery many europeans came and settled in uh, south america and uh, uh, people from french dutch uh, etc came and settled in south america because it is a country having plenty of natural resources so they came and settled there and these people spoke the latin language so uh, obviously the people who lived there later also those who came there they were forced to speak this language and that's why we call the south american countries as the latin american countries they are also called as latin american countries because there the people who came and lived there usually speak latin language now the next important thing which 
we have to understand we have the latitude and longitude in excels latitude as i told you 32 degree north and 55 degree south so in some part your textbook it is written as north change it to south then longitude it is 35 degree west to 81 degree west so this uh, coordinate is located in the western side and so location is from north to south it, uh, some part it is in the northern hemisphere and the remaining part in the southern hemisphere Now coming toward the last division, that is the political division. So we study about the political division of uh, South America. It is divided into thirteen countries, and the most important one is Brazil. The major share of South America is in Brazil, and then Argentina, Chile, like that. So many countries are there in uh, South America. That top most important are uh, Brazil and uh, Argentina, and the remaining are so many small countries are there. And uh, uh, the southern tip of South America is called Cape Cod, and it is in the Cayetan and Fuego Island. Now, uh, these are the important things, and below with this, we will uh, you can see the PowerPoint presentation in that. Fill up questions and short answer questions can be um, you can identify it and uh, it, it is explained. So you can take it down as uh, short questions as fill up questions, and you can learn it properly. So here I write the first part of our. start the powerpoint presentation in this uh, part of our video we'll discuss about south america and the important points which you have to study for your exam so we have already finished the first part of our video and uh, this part you can watch it through the powerpoint presentation and you can write the fill up questions and this can be asked for your exam now the points are like this south america is the fourth largest continent in the world It was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1498 and after the discovery many people from England like people from Spain Portugal Italy and France initially settled in South America The two main languages spoken by them are uh, Spanish and Portuguese These people are also called as Latin America or these people uh, are called as Latin Americans and along with that uh, this area is also called Latin American country and why it is called like that we have already discussed and now we will move to the next part that is the location of this continent <coughs> it is the fourth largest continent and the other three are Asia Africa and North America and uh, the position is 13 degree north to 55 degree south it is south so you have to uh, correct it in your book and you have to learn and then it is 35 degree west to 81 degree west longitude now tropic of capricorn it passes through rio de janeiro and the south america's southern tip is uh, cape horn it lies in the terradal fuego island very important its uh, southern tip is cape horn and it lies in the terradal fuego island now you can see the map and here uh, you can see the rivers and along with that brazil colombia argentina chile etc which is considered as the main important um, as, uh, countries of south america now latin america why this place is called latin america i've already discussed but just we will go read through it the four latin american countries called colombia peru bolivia and argentina these countries are called latin american countries because these countries were first colonized by countries of south europe especially spain and portugal who belonged to the latin race and they speak latin so the group of countries inherited by them came to be known as latin america so from uh, from the almost the south part of north america that small countries which is in the uh, after mexico or along with that uh, we call those areas and the uh, south american countries together as latin american countries because these countries were once colonized by europeans and the people who speak latin language now you can see the political division and the second part of our chapter is of uh, political division and in the political division you can see uh, countries like brazil venezuela colombia peru bolivia argentina and chile and in this part about 13 countries and its capitals are given and it is compulsory for you to learn all the uh, capitals and the countries you have to by heart it and in your textbook uh, it is given that um, you know 
so many countries like Falkland Island, which is uh, under the control of South Georgia Island, and another known sovereign areas are also there. Then Galapagos Island, which is in the Pacific Ocean, is uh, under the control of Ecuador. Then Aruba, Bonaire, Caracos Island, which is commonly called as ABC Islands of Netherlands, they are also a part of South America. So like that, some are included in um, South America and some are excluded from that. So you can see all the important countries and its capitals and you have to buy heart it and these are the countries and capitals brazil brasilia argentina buenos aires uruguay montevideo suriname paramaribo guana georgetown peninsula caracas bolivia la plus and sosair and chile santiago peru lima colombia bogota ecuador quito Paraguay, Ascension, and French Guiana, Kenya. These are the important countries and capitals, and you have to buy heart all the 13 because it can be asked for your in your exam as a part of match the following or choose the correct answer or even fill up. So you have to learn all the 13 questions and its answers. So once again, it's a very small portion which we discussed today, just an introduction, then the location and the political division. In political division, whatever important questions can be asked, we have discussed. And here you have to learn something more, that is the Falkland Island and Georgia Island are uh, some other non-sovereign countries which is controlled by United Kingdom. Then Galapagos Island is under... Ecuador, Aruba, Bonaire and Caracos Island are called uh, ABC Islands which is under the control of Netherlands. So these are the important points which you have to study along with that um, uh, what separates North America from South America. It is Panama Canal that separates North America from South America. So all these are the political division and the introduction of South America. Now in the next video we will uh, continue with the physical features of South America. So read your textbook well and um, you know, find the fill up answers, prepare fill up answers uh, and uh, write it in your copy and learn. Thank you.